Hey Milwaukee, how are you guys doing? This is Mr. Lucky calling you from, uh, I mean, uh, doing this uh, video recording from uh, Senegal, West Africa. I'm here, I'm around my crib. This is the neighborhood, or one of the neighborhoods where I live at. It's my uh, second house. As you can see, it's right here. I'm um, trying to switch, but I can go this way. Or if not, let me try this way. Is it working? No, it's not. But I think, yeah, I can go like this. Just so show you the front of my uh, of my house. And this one, this is my first time staying in this place. Uh, just build it. As you can see, it's freshly built. We still, uh, I still got some guys doing some work for the, gra the garage, the new garage for my car, for my truck, which is parked right here. It is a Ford Explorer, as you can see it. Uh, yep, showing right there. I just changed the color from blue to black, and which is very cheap here compared to the United States. So that's my ride. I love it. It's very smooth. Had it for many years, but hardly drive it. Only drive it when I'm around. And uh, as you can see, looks pretty good. Drives pretty smooth. Every time when I come here, start it. Start right away. But again, I just changed the color from again blue to black. And uh, just built this new garage for my truck because the other one was kind of small and I wanted more room uh, for it so that's why I built this one so the roof gonna be put in in two days meaning before I leave we're gonna have the roof on so that way I can start keeping the car in here so I'm going to show you my crib pretty quick just so you can uh, get an idea of uh, I mean I would say the inside of my crib so you can get an idea of the inside look like I mean looks like so this is the yard as you can see I planted some uh, some trees and uh, you see the guys over there working on the other small area I have a bathroom there and a place for uh, some chicken because I want to grow some chicken here, which means that it helps me have some fresh chicken when I want to. And uh, again, this is the garage, as you can see. I believe you can see that very well. This is the inside. So uh, as I told you, the roof is the only spot kind of left, but it's going to be put in sometime uh, again in two or three days. So we're gonna go in the inside pretty quick. Uh, these are bikes, small car for my kids. Okay, and this is inside the crib. This is the hallway. I don't think it is uh, bright enough, but let me see if I can turn the lights on. Okay, yep, I got the lights on, so maybe it shows better. And uh, this is the, the living room. And I can see this is the living room. And this is kind of the rec room, you know, sitting area. Okay. And uh, you got one room here, but that's full of luggage. And uh, this is the kitchen. You can see this the kitchen uh, got a refrigerator here okay got the store, stove here but i have to do some more work in the kitchen meaning uh working on getting some shelves some areas you know where you can store stuff and it won't be too crowded as it is right now this is the backyard as you can see that's the backyard of the house Okay, and then uh, 
we go inside, Perish quick, I will show you my room. Okay, this is my room. As you can see, it's my bedroom. Okay, and as you can see, got my suitcases here. These are my suitcases, you know. And then we see the bathroom, if we can have some good lighting too. Not really bad, but not really great too. But that's the bathroom. As you can see, I have a bathtub. Okay, got a sink here, got a toilet here. So, and I'm using my cam my uh, cell phone camera to try to do this reporting, just to give you guys an idea, you know, how it goes when you get not this sophisticated um, tools. It's just hard to get things the way you want it to be, but. We gotta do with what we got. So, and I was about to show you guys. Oh, this is locked. I cannot get through. I was gonna show you the other garage. But anyway, this is it for now. This is my crib. And uh, this is me here in Senegal. And I'm gonna be also showing you guys more stuff, you know, dealing with uh, life in general, you know, in Senegal. And again, uh, you can just take a bit, a little bit of look of my neighborhood, how it looks like, you know. It's a new area where people just started moving, you know, all these houses are freshly built here. And as you can see, it's different from the United States where they use wood, you know, when they build houses. They usually use cement, you know, for the basement. But here, cement is what we use the most. We mix the cement with the sand, you know, and these are the sand from the ocean so or from the sea so that's the kind of sand you know they use you know to build houses but again you take a look around you can see most of these houses are freshly built so this is one of mine that's not the only one that i have but that's one of mine and this is the one what i live in right now so and then tomorrow we got a crew coming to put a tire to put tires on the floor you know some uh new tires on the floor so that will change also the inside completely the inside of the house so again as i say it is what it is so this gives you an idea of how people live in africa different from a lot of people think about you know like you don't have people live in huts and stuff like that so it's not what it is people got running water got electricity as you can see there is a, <clears throat> a post right there you know they got the we got light at night, you know, street light at night. So, and this is definitely electricity that we have, you know, the same way we got, you know, in the United States. All right, so this is it for now. So I'm gonna keep making some more videos just to give you guys a chance to see more about how, you know, Africa is all about. Thanks guys, take care, God bless.